Hello, my name is Roland Jung from ePlan Canada. Of course, we have a lot of interesting things. Today, I want to focus on something a little bit special. This guy here that is working on ePlan. And I'd like to help you with something. Something that I see quite often. Sometimes when we go inside ePlan, we can see here, it's actually, as you can see, it's actually uploading some parts. Uh, this is quite cool. This one here, the Terminal Strip Navigator. When I look at a terminal, uh, I usually cross-check my terminal strip navigator. And inside this project here, as I drill it down, you can see the first terminal strip here is perfectly fine from the icons. I can also see it's not necessarily placed because I don't see any parts placement. And I often open here the edit menu. And I can see that we have here even the ending plates and the isolating plates and everything is nicely set. On the TV2, uh, maybe on, on, on others down there, you can see that, see the difference is that the terminal has a parts placement. So these parts are actually placed somewhere. Now the TB2 comes up with this icon here. You can see on the second one, you have this small special icon here, which primarily tells me that the part number that was selected by Epon here is not exactly uh, in line with what is placed down on the schematic. So here I'm running the device selection and you can see as I run the device selection, boom, this actually disappears. How can I do it for all of them? I can just go here, main terminal, pick the terminals as I, I just did. They're all the same, right? And I go here and I just go, I do a quick device selection. There we go and it's done. Now, what you can see on this one here, if you go back here to no activation, now it's all corrected. So it's basically not like this one anymore, right? Now, what we can see is there's no terminal strip. There's most likely, if I go in here, there's probably no accessory. Uh, it's also somewhat grouped like this together. This is also something that is a little bit awkward, shouldn't be. They should be splitted like this. That's obviously, I'm not sure where that comes from. They are all jumpered together and it's perfect. So, so far, so good. And what I want to do and show you today is how I can use the clip project or the project complete. This, if you install it from Phoenix Contact, if you are using Phoenix Contact terminals, specifically this one here, retain Phoenix Contact articles because I assigned the article, you can run this. And what this will do is it will actually look up the terminal strip that you designate. In this particular case here, it's the TB2 point zero I'm interested in and since I'm running it automatically it will run through that terminal it will open of course the Phoenix contact uh, free software you can actually ask them to, to install and as it runs a project complete this project complete is smart enough to actually figure out what are the details missing on that terminal strip to be perfect so I can place it with the clip fix that comes at the start, with the uh, small tag that goes on top, with even the isolating plate and the matching isolating plate for that particular terminal that I picked, because this is something that, you know, you have to go to the catalog and figure out. They all have that set in here. And at the end, when it's entirely finished, so it ran through all these five terminals, check them out. It also assigns uh, special part numbers for your uh, individual uh, project um, for the, the, the jumpers, right? It all does that for you. You don't have to do anything. I'll show you as soon as it's finished, that Phoenix contact and that Phoenix contact, you can get it uh, here. Just go to the Phoenix contact, Phoenix contact your website uh, there I can see I'm, I'm quite often there just go here for project complete this is what the software is named right we will find it here project complete and right as you look at the software project complete here you can download it there are some downloads you can find and I only invite you of course to check mark what you want it has two aspects to it it has a planning aspect and a marking aspect the one i'm presenting to you right now is the planning so to plan and correct and make the perfect terminal strip with 
everything isolating so you are UL 509 compliant or you are also IEC uh, compliant at the end of the day or CSA compliant, making sure that it's finger safe. This is what this project complete does. And coming back here, when it's finished like this, it actually pops up here uh, to your project. It actually puts the project here, right there. You can actually open it if you wish to, and you can see what it actually did. It really took these five terminals and added the individual clip fix, the isolating plate here, and even the tag that is here, and the jumper, right? The bridges, as they call them, okay? I'm going to go back to ePlan and I'm going to show you that even now, if I go to my edit menu, it's all there. It's perfect. Now, what we do with it is, of course, we go to a panel layout. On that particular panel layout, we may want to open the panel layout more precisely on the back plate. And then what you want to do is inside your 3D layout, you will find again these TB20 something. I'm just going to pick the TB20 something. I'm just going to pick the first one. It's going to ask me, do you want to do the whole TB2? I say yes. I just place it and it's done. And you can see if I actually approach myself, I have the isolating plate. I have this that weren't there before that got added and here. So you have the perfect terminal strip, the exact size. You, you'll never be wrong. You can see now how it looks when it's all placed. Okay, just wanted to show you this um, nice feature. Last but not least, of course, is the clip project also comes with the other marking aspect. The marking aspect is quite interesting too because you can pre-configure what labels you want. In my case, I want my wires, my cables, my devices. And all I do is I run the clip project export and it will actually then open the marking tool. And as you can see here, and pop up and populate it with exactly the labels I picked, sorted the way I wanted, organized the way I wanted, with even the same and perfect label that I pre-picked earlier. So it's just a matter of configuration. These, this configuration, we at ePlan can help you. Phoenix Contact on their site can help you too. Here, Shital Moody uh, in, in Canada is responsible on that side. Um, we all have uh, a knowledge experience ex exchange on, on both sides so that it actually generates automatically the labels inside this tool. So this was Roland Jung from ePlan, ePlan Canada. Come and see our latest eManage. That's the new kid on the block. Or just call your support people from ePlan, local support. Sign up for my uh, YouTube channel if you wish to. If you want to see more of these videos, thank you. Bye.